first grade. Today for our digital citizenship lesson, we are going to learn how to search using the alphabet. So the objective is I can use the alphabet to search online. Can you say that? So first I'd like to show, tell you what the word dictionary means. Can you say dictionary? A dictionary is a book or website that has words in ABC order and tells you what the words mean. If you look at the picture, I see a picture of a what? Right, a kite. Say the word kite. What's the beginning sound, the first sound that you hear when you say the word kite? K. That's the first sound I hear and the sound k is the letter k. Well, for kite is. I use a dictionary to learn my new words. So, there are also picture dictionaries. When you look at a picture dictionary, you can find the pictures of things by the letters of the alphabet. Usually it won't have the words or the definition with it, but sometimes it does. So pictures of things whose name begins with the letter A come first. Then pictures of things that begin with the letter B. And what comes next? Yeah, C. So let's look at this picture dictionary that we had in Ms. Smith's classroom and it was called A is for Africa. So what letter do you think comes first? Yeah, A. And I see that A is for Africa, B is for beads, C is for canoe, and then all the other letters are coming and they are all in order. So, where would you find a picture of a river? Say the word river. What sound do you hear first when you say river? Yeah, I hear the er sound. That's the letter R. What about a feather. Where would you find a picture of a feather? Under the letter F, right. Where in the book would you find things that begin with the letter Z? Would that be at the beginning of the book or the end of the book? Things that begin with the letter Z. Right, those will be found at the end of the book. You can use the letters of the alphabet to help you find things online too. Today, we are going to find things online on the NASA website. First, let's learn a new word, the word search. Can you say search? Say it with me, search. When you search for something, you look for it. Today, we will be searching for things on the internet online. I search for pictures of pandas online. You can also search for things in real life. You can search for your shoes in your bedroom. You can search for your friend on the playground. But today we are going to search on the NASA website. So I am going to go to this link to go to the NASA website. Maybe.
And here is NASA's picture dictionary. I can see all the letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and then I'd have to click more. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Hmm. Let's go to the letter S. Miss Smith's name starts with the letter S. I don't think we'll find Miss Smith in this NASA picture dictionary, though. Hmm. S is for satellite, season, sound, south pole, space suit. I wonder, what is a space suit? I clicked on it and it tells me what it means. A space suit is a suit that protects astronauts from the dangers of space. The first space suit that NASA astronauts wore were shiny silver color. Looks like in the picture, now space suits are white. Hmm, let's find another letter. Let's go back and back again. This time, let's click on the letter E. E is for electricity, ellipse, energy, equator, experiment. What is an experiment? An experiment is a test or tests that are used to find out or prove something or to see whether an idea is correct. Astronauts perform many science experiments on the International Space Station. Look, there's a picture of an astronaut who's doing an experiment inside of the spaceship. So, today, when you go on Seesaw, you are going to explore the NASA Picture Dictionary. You are going to get a letter. You are going to find something that begins with that letter. So, if my letter was G, I would scroll down till I get to the G, click on it, and then find any of these words. <gasps> Galaxy, I don't, I've heard that word before. Then I would read to find out what a galaxy is. If I can't read that, I can always have the iPad do the speaking for me, speech to text. One of the very large groups of stars and other matter that are found throughout the universe. Oh, a group of stars from the universe. Then I am going to save the picture to my iPad or do a screenshot on my iPad by pushing the power button and the home button at the same time. It'll look a little bit different because I'm on my computer. Once I have my screenshot, I am going to put it on this page insert a photo on Seesaw. Then I'll write G is for, and what was this again? Yeah, a galaxy. G is for galaxy. If I want, I could also copy and paste what a galaxy is. I can paste the definition of galaxy onto my work on Seesaw. We haven't learned much about how to copy paste, but if you know how to do that, that is awesome. If I want, I can also decorate the alphabet that are on the outside 
And then when we finish, we will all have a picture dictionary with all of the letters. So, after you finish this page on Seesaw, you can do the second page and answer some questions. Question one says, what letter would you use to search for these things online? Write the letter below each picture. What is this a picture of? Yeah, a hat. What letter is at the beginning of hat? Hat. I hear the letter H. What is this a picture of? What about this? What letter would you use to search for those things online? Question number two says, what things could you search for using the letter I? Ice cream, dog, ice cube, apple, or ball? There are two answers. When you find your answer, circle it. Question number three says, where in a picture dictionary would you find this page? Look at the page. What animal is that? Yeah, a lion. Would you find the lion on pages A through D? Would you find the lion on pages E through L? Or would you find the lion on pages M through Z? Show me your work on Seesaw. So let's wrap it up. So today you should have learned how you can find pictures of things whose names begin with that letter. How can you use the alphabet to search for things on the internet? And do you think there are other ways to search for things on the internet? Press pause and answer these questions. All right, first grade, I can't wait to see your work on Seesaw. I also can't wait to put together all of our pages so that we can have our own picture dictionary to look at. Have a great day, first grade, and be safe online.